Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So a question that I get a lot both in my comments and also in my DMs on Instagram is what are your favorite scented candles? So I thought that today I would take the opportunity to share with you five of my favorite scented candles from Bath & Body Works as well as a couple of other brands and I also thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you some of my other favorite products that are not perfumes. So I have a couple of lotions, I have a couple of soaps here to share with you and yeah I'm really excited to share with you some of these other scented non-perfume related products and if you like this type of video definitely let me know down below I can do like a springtime version because today's video is definitely more centered around those kind of warmer holiday scents um, yeah but I'm really excited to share them with you I also have some holy grail products in here as well that I never stop using and if this is your first time on my channel thank you so much for stopping by my name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume so if that is your thing make sure to head on down and subscribe we also do a little bit of lifestyle minimalism home decor decluttering things like that and also feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram and also before we get started comment down below and tell me if you have a favorite what is your number one favorite Bath & Body Works candle of all time okay and with that let's get started all right guys good morning I'm still having coffee of course in my tis the season mug which if you are just here for the first time I found this mug at Walmart and I really love it it's such a nice pink color and I love that it says tis the season across the top and it matches perfectly with all of my decor um, so I have had a lot of people asking me what are my favorite candles particularly for winter the holidays Christmas that kind of thing um, so I wasn't really gonna buy any more candles because I have a couple that I could work on but after everybody was so interested I thought you know what why not get a couple of Bath & Body Works candles share with you guys what my favorite ones are um, so right now Right now I am burning the Vanilla Bean Noel candle, which I think is a pretty popular one. Um, and this one is just like a very nice light, sort of a vanilla scented candle. I think there might be maybe some, a little bit of pine or mint or something. It's, it's just a very soft, light, vanilla candle and honestly this one doesn't have much throw it's very soft which I kind of like because I do find a lot of Bath and Body Works candles can have like a very intense throw and it can almost be headache inducing that's what I like about their winter candles the winter candles are not super intense a lot of them they're just like very gourmand and comforting and you guys will see a theme in this video that I don't like a lot of Christmassy candles I prefer more the gourmand candles so I'm not all about like the pine and the spruce and the apples and the and spices and I'm just I don't really like those candles I prefer the vanilla comforting woody candles which you will see so yeah this is the one I'm working on right now and as you can see I've put a pretty good a pretty good dent in that candle yeah let's see if we can get the lighting better here yeah so I've this is what it more looks like um, this is more true to what it looks like so it's very beautiful and I've put a pretty good dent in that candle already I've been burning it for the last few days or so so let's start out with my favorite lotions so you guys when it comes to lotion I'm not particular about the scent I kind of just get whatever I find that seems like I would like it, whatever seems to be on sale. And I like these little ones specifically for in my purse. So I actually have a few different brands here. Um, let's start out with the one that's currently in my purse. And this is from Love and Planet. I don't, or sorry, Love Beauty and Planet. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this one before, but this one is scented like Muru Muru Butter and Rose Oil. And this is just a very like creamy, like soft slightly rose scented lotion and this is the one that is currently in my handbag and I like to keep these with me in my handbag you guys because they are the perfect size whether or not you have a large handbag or a tote or a shoulder bag or whether you carry around just like a small crossbody bag these fit in every bag and they're just the absolute perfect size I always like to have lotion with me when I'm on the go because of course you wash your hands in public bathrooms you wash your hands all the time throughout the day especially when you're traveling and you need to have lotion with you or I need to have lotion with me I hate having dry hands that is the worst feeling in the world when you have like sandpaper dry fingers I always try to keep my hands really moisturized and so yeah this is a good one and this one I just found at my local I think you can get these at Walmart but I think I found this at my local drugstore so I have one from this brand and again I'm not particular about the brand however I will say the Burt's Bees ones I find too overwhelmingly essential oil smelling. I did have a lavender Burt's Bees 
it was way too strong for me, so I won't be buying Burt's Bees um, hand lotions again. So that's the first one. Another little mini hand cream that I like is from The Body Shop, and this is just the Shea hand cream. And this one I haven't cracked into yet. This one's kind of just sitting here waiting for when I'm done my rose one from Love, Beauty, and Planet. And the Shea cream is really, really nice. I'm sure you guys know all about the Shea cream. Very moisturizing, very luxurious, really rich, really hydrating. So I absolutely love The Body Shop. Um, lotions for that and then I have two from Bath and Body Works and I just picked these up as part of my little birthday haul I was able to go shopping and I was allowed to go and just pretty much buy whatever I wanted for my birthday um, so this is a hand butter and this is in the scent shea butter and coconut water and you guys usually I'm not a fan of coconut as you know if you watch my channel in my perfumes I don't love coconut however in lotions I kind of I don't mind coconut in lotions. It's a little strange, but I think it's because, especially when you go like to the beach, sunscreens often have a coconut vibe. I really love the scent of sunscreen that smells coconutty, but I don't like it in my perfumes. Kind of weird, but for me, there's a time and a place for coconut and that's at the beach. <laughs> but anyways, so this actually smells really beautiful. And you know what this one reminds me of? This reminds me of the lotion that they give you if you ever stay at the Wynn in Las Vegas. This smells like their luxury win lotions. I actually went and looked to see if I could find like a full size tub of this and I can't find it. So yeah, so this one will have to do, but this is the shea butter and coconut water hand butter. Really, really nice. Can't wait to start using that. And then the other one I got is just this vanilla butter cream. So obviously this is just a shea cream that smells very buttery and very vanilla-y and I like that. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cute. I like the little sprinkles. It's just like, looks kind of very like desserty, rich, decadent, whatever. But um, again, like I said, I'm not picky with my scent of my lotions. I will have all different types of lotions. I don't like super strong floral scents. I tend to like more of like the creamy, buttery, shea, coconut, almond, like the softer kind of creamier lotions. Um, but yeah, so that is the last little miniature lotion that I currently have. And that's pretty much it for my little hand lotions. I forgot to show you, I do have a large hand and nail manicure cream, which is from the body shop. And this is the almond scented one. So this isn't like overly almondy. It's a very soft kind of an almond scent. I actually have it on my hands right now. And it really, it really isn't like strong almond by any means. That's what I like about these creams is they're not super scented. So if you do put them on your body, you can still wear a perfume on top of them and they don't drown out or like overwhelm the scent of the perfume. They just help the perfume to last. Um, so yeah, this one I got specifically to keep in my nightstand beside my bed. And that way every night before I go to bed, when I think of it, I can put it on my hands and it just gives your hands that like extra boost of moisture for right before you go to sleep. And it definitely does contribute to your skin being a little more hydrated and moisturized, um, which I really like. So yeah, this one is my favorite scent for the um, hand and nail manicure cream. And as you can see, I've put a little dent in it. It's a little bit pricey unless you get it on a sale, but I really love these little, these hand lotions. All right guys, so let's move on to face really quickly and I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on this topic because I'm not a dermatologist and I also don't do like face care, skin care, makeup type of videos obviously. So it's not my area of expertise, but I do wanna share with you guys a couple of my holy grail skin care for my face. I do also use a retinol, but I'm not gonna share that in today's video. We're just gonna stick to a little bit more basic stuff. So the moisturizer that I use on my face is very affordable and it's just good old Cetaphil hydrating night cream. And this is very rich. This is for normal to dry skin. And I would say this probably isn't the most moisturizing thing I've ever used, but it is pretty good. I find that in the winter time, I do need to apply a little bit more frequently and I need to put more on because I do get really dry skin in the winter, but you can see how loved this is. The, um, the thing on the side is coming off. Let me just take the lid off actually. So you can see how how much of this I've used and that's the consistency of it. It's very thick, very rich. It will not fall out obviously. And this is just a really highly recommended from dermatologists gentle cream for your face. It's kind of along the same lines as CeraVe. 
Um, I don't know if any of you guys use CeraVe, but this is the one that I have found that I enjoy the most. And one of these little tubs lasts me for a really long time. It's about $19.99, so I mean, I guess it's not that expensive. Um, it does last for quite a long time, and I just find it to be very gentle, never bothers my skin, never irritates it or makes it red, it doesn't hurt the eye area. You can use this all over your whole face. I keep this with me no matter where I go. I have like a little tiny tub of it in my travel bag, and this has been like, this has been my holy grail face cream. I would say going on probably two years, maybe three. There was a period of time that I like experimented quite a lot, didn't really know what worked for me. This has been what I have found to be the best so far. And it's fragrance free, non-comedogenic, super gentle, good for everybody, even if you have like really dry, irritated skin. So I really love the Cedarville. And then we have my holy grail face sunscreen. And I do apply sunscreen to my face every single day, usually twice a day. I put it on first thing in the morning before I even come downstairs to make coffee or have breakfast because I sit right beside a window. The, sh the sun isn't right on my face, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, I do like to use my Aveeno Sensitive Skin. This is the one that is my favorite. It is a mineral sunscreen. It's SPF 50. This is the one that's in my purse and you can see how much of it I use. So I always put sunscreen on first thing in the morning and then if I'm going out again in the afternoon or I'm going to be driving for any length of time or the sun is out that day and it's quite bright, I reapply it again in the car or right before I get to the car. And this is my favorite. It doesn't make your skin greasy. It doesn't break you out. You can wear makeup over top of it. I certainly do. And yeah, so I have two of them. This one is in my makeup kit upstairs in the bathroom. Um, it just seems to be the sunscreen that works the best for me. And then I have one that's in my purse as well. So yeah, this is like a must have uh, product for me. I also apply it to the back of my hands, but I use a chemical one on the back of my hands um, because I'm just not as concerned about like irritation. But for my face, I like a mineral. Okay, you guys, so now let's move on to body. Now, this one is the one that I'm currently using. This is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream, and you can actually put this on your face or your body. You can use it all over head to toe, basically. It is quite rich, it is quite thick, it's moisturizing. This is also like a very good cream. A lot of people know about this one. Highly recommended from dermatologists. Really good if you have sensitive, dry skin, if you are easily irritated by things, this is a really good one to use as well. However, I don't find it's really sometimes even rich enough for me. I have put this on my face. I do still prefer the Cetaphil. So I have been putting this on my body. It takes forever to go through this thing. Like again, that's how thick it is. Um, very, very thick consistency. It is a cream, not a lotion, and it takes forever to go through this thing. So I'm kind of right now using this as my body lotion, and I just want to use it up because after I'm done with this one, I'm moving on to the Eucerin. So this one's fine, but I don't think I'll repurchase it for my body anyways. So the one that I really want to use is the Eucerin, and this one actually is extremely moisturizing. It's so nice, you guys. It's just extremely hydrating and moisturizing and I've used it like a couple times just to test it and I absolutely love it and this is the one that I want to move on to I'm just kind of trying to get through my CeraVe before I move on to this one but yeah this is going to be I think like my holy grail especially for the winter time um, so it is fragrance free um, for dry and sensitive skin. This is pricey you guys like this pump Usually if you get a pump of this kind of lotion like the Vaseline intensive care or something like that You're paying like six or seven dollars, right? This one is $18.99 So it's a little bit more pricey for a lotion But it is I know people who swear up and down by this perfume and or by this perfume by this lotion and this is so moisturizing you guys and I just love it and this is also non scented so you can also layer your perfume on top of it and it helps your perfume last longer as well because it is so moisturizing so that is the Eucerin now let's get into the fun um, scented body creams so usually you guys like I said I don't go too crazy with the scents of my lotions because I do like to layer perfume on top of my lotions. These are my two kind of more like fun lotions, I guess you would say. I don't use them on a regular basis. Um, but yeah, let's just start out maybe with the Body Shop. So this is the Shea Nourishing Body Butter from the Body Shop. 
Um, very popular, everybody knows about this, I'm sure. And let me just take the lid off. So this is super, super rich and decadent, as you guys can see. It's just incredibly luxurious and rich. This is richer than a cream, obviously. So this is what I use when I have extremely dry skin or when I'm worried that I'm gonna have ext extremely dry skin or when I want my skin to basically glisten. Like I want it to be so moisturized that it's going to glisten. This also helps my perfume last 10 times longer you guys like when I put this on my skin and then I follow up with a perfume my skin will stay moist and like oily where I put the perfume so the perfume does not just soak in and disappear this is my like holy grail make your perfume last longer thing and I think you could probably go with any of the scents that you wanted from the body shop the reason I like the shea one is because it really doesn't have much of a scent at all. It's just very soft. It's not really almondy. It's not coconutty. It's not vanilla-y. It's just very, very soft and subtle. And I think that this would pair well with pretty much any any perfume you're gonna put on top of it because it doesn't have much of a fragrance at all. But yeah, you can see that I've used a little bit of this, especially living in a colder climate up here in Canada, super cold, or even if you live in a place like Las Vegas, like where it's a little bit drier, Oh, you guys, I can't tell you how much I love this body butter. And the second one that's kind of like my fun body lotion is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And this is the one that smells like the Sol Cherosa 62, which everybody knows is like a delicious pistachio, almondy, caramel fragrance. And it smells so good. If you smell this, you know. And I actually prefer this to the Coco Cabana Cream. This is my favorite scented cream from that whole line at Bath and Body Works. And I recently actually snagged this during the Sephora sale. So let me just take the lid off for you. Okay, so apparently I dropped it at some point. But anyways, this is the this is the cream. So this again is really moisturizing and really Oh my gosh, it just it just smells so good, you guys. Like this is my favorite scented body lotion ever, 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 ever. By the way, I will link this down below if you're looking to get yourself some. And this layered with any vanilla or caramel perfume is incredible. You can layer this with Kali Vanilla, you can layer this with your Shirosa 62. You guys, another stellar combination, this with your Gold Couture, Juicy Couture, Gold Couture, and this cream. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed, but Gold Couture smells very similar to the Boom Boom Cream or to the Shirosa 62 because they both have caramel. They're both caramel dominant and it just, yeah, if you put your Gold Couture on top of this, I'm telling you, it is like man eater, man killer material. It is so good and it lasts forever. It will make your Gold Couture last longer as well. So this is like my go-to when I want to actually smell delectable. This is not something I wear like very often because it is expensive. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. This is a little bit pricey and I don't want to just go through tubs and tubs of it all the time. It's not like I like live on a beach or something and everyone's gonna smell me and see my skin all day long. So I do save this for when I actually wanna be like a little extra like decadent smelling and just feel a little more bougie, a little more luxe. And yeah, so I think that is my final um, like lotion slash body butter thing. Now I have a couple of hand soaps to show you and then we will move into the candles. So I have three soaps to show you guys. These are hand soaps. I'm not gonna get into like body wash and shampoo and conditioner. This would just be a ridiculously long video, but let me know if that's something you're interested in if you wanna see what I use on my body and my shampoos and conditioners and things like that and body scrubs. I can do that in a different video. So probably my favorite, most holy grail hand soap that I keep on repurchasing is the Olay hand soap or hand wash I should say and this is from Scottish Fine Soaps the company and these are usually pretty affordable I think I still have a price on mine yeah so I got this for $5.99 and what I love about this hand soap is that it's just a basic like soapy smelling soap it's not heavily scented or fragranced I usually don't like a heavily fragranced hand soap because if you're gonna wash your hands with something that is super heavily fragranced, you're pretty much committing for the next couple of hours or whatever that your hands are gonna smell like that lotion or like that soap. And I don't want my hands to smell like necessarily like cookies or apples or watermelon or something. Like I want my hands just to smell like clean and then I wanna put lotion on top. 
that's basically it. So I do like this. I like that it's just very clean. I like that this looks very minimalistic. I think the little cow on there is super cute. Um, it just looks very classy and very sophisticated sitting in a bathroom. I've always loved this line. If you guys watched some of my earlier videos when I did um, a bathroom tour, I'm pretty sure I had this and the matching lotion in my bathroom like two years ago. So I've been using this for a really long time. And yeah, again, it just has a very classic, clean, soapy smell. Not overly fragranced, not too strong. Really, really like this. The one that I currently have in my bathroom is the Live Clean Vanilla Peppermint. And this one I got because I wanted something a little bit kind of Christmassy for the season, but I didn't want something, again, too overly um, like heavily scented. A lot of Bath & Body Works stuff is extremely, extremely scented. That is why I don't use Bath & Body Works lotions. I don't use Bath & Body Works body sprays for the most part. For one thing, I just have a hard time finding a body spray from them that I like to put on my body. But for another thing, um, their lotions are extremely heavily scented. If you put on one of their lotions, you're pretty much committed to a Bath & Body Works scent for the day. Like they just last forever. That is why I usually go for these a little bit more like toned down versions of soaps and this one is not too heavily scented I like the live clean because they're a little bit more eco-conscious um, it's also a nice color nice neutral color doesn't really like overtake your bathroom it's not like bright pink or something um, and this one's just subtly scented like vanilla and peppermint which I like peppermint is one of my favorite scents however I did get myself a Bath & Body Works soap in the scent almond blossom you guys this smells so so good and it's not too strong it's not too heavy it's not like overly fragranced it's just like that perfect um hand soap smell it's like a little bit almondy let me see if i can see what it says so almond milk coriander and vanilla sugar and you guys this smells so so good this is probably my favorite bath and body works hand soap scent that I've ever found. It's a little bit almondy, it's vanilla-y. Again, I don't usually like almond in a lot of perfumes, but in here it really works. It's not like too overpowering. It's just like very pretty and very soft. And if I found this in a body spray or a lotion, I would get it 100% because it does smell so good. It's like a sugary, vanilla almond it's and but at the same time it's a little bit subtle it's a little bit like floral summery springtime it's just beautiful i also like the colors of this again it's kind of neutral everything in my house is neutral colored so i don't like anything too bright I'm very big about like purchasing body care and other things that fit in with my decor of my house. I don't like bright pink, bright blue, bright purple. You'll never see any of that stuff in my house. Everything is like pretty neutral and pretty relaxing and calming. And so anyway, this just fits everything like that I like. So um, yeah, this is currently the only Bath & Body Works hand soap that I have and I just really love it. So totally recommend checking this out, you guys. I actually bought two of them. All right, guys, so let's move on to the candles, which is really the star of today's show. It's what most people wanted to see. What are my favorite scented candles? So first of all, of course, we have the Vanilla Bean Noel in the corner, which is my, that's one of my Holy Grail favorite um, candles from Bath & Body Works, by the way. And this is one that I've never purchased before. This one I got um, new this year, and this is called The Perfect Christmas. And it is from the White Barn collection. And so this one has a little bit of like a pine, sort of a foresty um, smell to it, but it's primarily also like this buttery vanilla kind of rum smell. It's like, it's a little bit like, cinnamon cinnamon it's a little bit cinnamony buttery rum and let's see what is in this candle so the scents that you have in here are fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow so yeah this one this one to me smells a little bit kind of like a vanilla buttery rum marshmallow it's primarily that gourmand fragrance which i told you guys i prefer i don't like a candle that smells just straight up like pine and spices and pumpkin and i like something a little bit more gourmand when it comes to candles i love my house to smell like vanilla and marshmallow and all of those yummy delicious freshly baked gourmand type of scents so yeah this one's really good i think that the amount of pine in here is just perfect it gives it just a little bit of that Christmassy wintry touch but without being too overly Christmas tree smell if you know what I mean 
and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely recommend if you're like me and you want a candle that smells um, Christmassy and like a Christmas tree, but isn't too overly like pine, definitely check this one out. This is probably the most like Christmassy one in today's video. The rest are a little bit more gourmand. So again, I also chose this because it matches my decor. It is kind of like a nice light bluish gray color and a little hack that I have for you guys. If you ever get a candle and it doesn't match your decor, as long as the candle on the inside is white, you can actually remove this sticker on the outside. The whole thing comes off and then you have a plain white candle to suit your decor. That's a little hack that I have because a lot of times you get a candle that's white, but the label is like bright green or something and it doesn't match your decor, you can easily take that off and then you have just a plain white candle. So yeah, I always try to get white candles for that reason. So little, little neutral minimalism hack there for you. The next candle that we have is Mary Cookie. Now I'm sure that a lot of people out there also love this candle. This smells incredible. It smells to me like warm, freshly baked sugar cookies. And it's also rich, it's also buttery, and it's vanilla-y. And this smells so decadent and so delicious, you guys. Um, I also really like the label on this one. This is an example of a Christmassy type of label or like a little bit more of a busy label that I actually really like. I think it goes with my decor really well. I like that it's these beautiful light colors. I love that little like blue tree. So pretty. And the wax in here is also neutral, which is perfect. So it's like this pretty shade of beige. Oh, it smells so good. And let's see what it says. So it says fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. So yeah, this is incredible. It literally does smell like vanilla sugar cookies. It's just, mm, it's so good. It's so comforting. Again, it's not too heavily fragranced. It's not super strong. It doesn't give me a headache. So this is probably my second or third time buying this candle. So I do really like um, Mary Cookie. So the next candle, you guys, is not from Bath & Body Works. This is actually one from, obviously, HomeSense, and I wanted to share it with you because this one has been in a lot of my previous videos, and I actually went all the way to the bottom of this um, candle. So this one is called Winter White, and this is obviously a winter-scented candle. It's from Sand & Fog, which is one of the, um, one of the very popular candles that you can get from like home sense winners marshalls that kind of thing and as you can see i went right to the bottom so if i let this burn it's pretty much it goes you can see right to the bottom and this one is this one is actually one of my least favorite scents i just grabbed it because i was looking for like a wintry candle that was white and would look nice in my videos um and it was okay it was fairly subtle it kind of has smelled like pine a little bit, a fresh snowfall sort of. It was just like a very clean, linen-y, fresh, piney sort of a scent, but not like overly piney. Um, and I enjoyed it, it was good, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again. So now I think what I'll do is I'll actually clean it out. Um, I'll melt the wax out of there and I'll probably use this to store something in my house. I'm not sure what yet, but comment down below and let me know what you guys do once you hit the bottom of your candles. What do you do with the glass jars? Do you recycle them or do you use them for something else? I'm always curious to know because I hate throwing things out. So on to our fifth candle and I will save my all-time favorite holy grail candle for last. So this is my probably my new obsession, my new favorite scent obsession for candles from Bath & Body Works, you guys. I love the way this smells. So this is the peppermint sugar cookie. And this one has in it crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. So you guys, I am obsessed with the scent of um, vanilla and peppermint. I love vanilla and peppermint in a candle. I don't know why. It just smells very clean and comforting and Oh, oh, this smells so good, you guys. This isn't too cookie, it's not too gourmand. The peppermint that's in here makes it smell very fresh and very clean, so it kind of gives your house like this fresh, clean, minty scent, and yet there's also this warm, like rich buttery in the background. It's so good, it's so good. I just absolutely love it. If this came in a white candle, it would be in like a white color. This would be my perfect candle year round. My house could smell like this year round. And actually you guys, when I went to the store, this was the only one that they had left on their shelf. All of the other ones were sold out. You can still get them online. Um, 
and I am tempted to grab a couple of backups because I love this candle, you guys. Uh, so good, so good. Um, yeah, so it's just like very clean, but a little a little bit gourmand, um, and it has that like rich buttery vanilla, but it's also like very fresh at the same time. And now you guys, for my favorite all-time candle, my number one candle from Bath & Body Works for the winter time. I'll give you two seconds to comment down below what you think it is. All right, <laughs> that's enough time. So it is none other than Marshmallow Fireside. And you guys, I love this candle. So this smells to me basically like a little bit of burning wood. It smells like you're sitting beside a fire in your house. You're sitting beside like um, a warm, comforting fire in your living room and you're cozied up in a warm flannel blanket and it smells marshmallowy and vanilla-y and it's just absolutely delicious and comforting and warm. It is such a good candle, you guys, and I have been purchasing this particular candle for years upon years. This has been, I think at least, at least like seven or eight years I've been buying this candle, you guys. I also love the color. Obviously the color is perfect for my house because as you can see, everything in my home is like white or gray with little pops of like beige here and there. So this is the perfect color, the perfect scent. Everything about this candle I love. It's this super comforting, cozy shade of gray. Oh, it smells so nice. So it smells like marshmallows, it smells like a little smoky, a little bit woody. The perfume that this one probably reminds me the most of is By the Fireplace from Maison Margiela. Um, however, I don't love that scent for a perfume. I would love By the Fireplace in a candle. For me, this is like the closest I've found um, for a candle version of that By the Fireplace. By the Fireplace is like richer, nuttier, sweeter. But if you like that scent for By the Fireplace, you probably will really like this as a candle. And I'm the type of person who actually can't wear those scents. Like if you put this in a perfume form, I wouldn't be able to wear it. It's too, it's too candly for me. It's too like gourmand, warm, woody. That's not what I want to smell like. That's what I want my house to smell like. So this is perfect for me. Um, let's see what the notes are. <laughs> let's see what the notes are <laughs> in this candle. They are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, and fire roasted vanilla. So yeah. They do. It does smell like that gentle, like you know, when the when the wood is like just about to burn out, and you've just got like the what what do you call those things? It escapes my mind. But anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Those little like red bits of like wood that are just about to burn out, and then you have the toasted marshmallow and the vanilla. Mm, it smells so good. So yeah, this one I'm really looking forward to burning, but this is like my ideal cozy candle. This is my ideal like movie night cozy when it's very cold outside and there's tons of snow outside and you just wanna relax and cuddle up and be comfortable and read a book and just enjoy the warmth of your home. This is so good. So yeah, highly, highly recommend this one. Favorite Bath & Body Works candle of all time, probably of all time, but definitely for the winter, um, Marshmallow Fireside. So yeah, that is the last candle on today's list. So that's it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing my choices on these um, candles. <laughs> I was going to say cookies, perfumes. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyways, if this is your first time here, also please consider subscribing and I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you. Ooh, making plans. What we're gonna do, I feel so blessed.